folks, uh, we are back here at the Acoustic Shop, uh, and we are here with our good buddy Justin George. Uh, we're going to be talking about banjos. We were glad to have Justin come in. He's an incredible banjo player and close friend of the shop. And this was our opportunity for you guys not to have to deal with us doing banjo demos anymore. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about uh, the new Sullivan uh, Festival banjo. Uh, this one's a mahogany banjo, which is uh, really cool. So tell them a little bit about that. Well, it's got a mahogany neck, mahogany resonator. Very, very simple but elegant, I guess you would say. It's got like the old uh, the Gibson gold pattern that came on like the RB1s. Um, it's got, I think, I'm pretty sure it's like a 26th and... What we say five or twenty six and three eighth scale? Yeah, they're saying they're uh, they're pre Gibson pre war scale length is what mm -hmm. they're actually it specking just, that out. At. It feels like it just feels like a banjo is supposed to feel. Well, good. So <laughs> these are these are done in a uh, nitrocellulose lacquer finish. Um, a little bit more simple appointments than like their uh, Festival Pro. Well, actually, Festival Pro is going to be the same spec, uh, deal with a few changes, but uh, their Vintage 35, which is their kind of top of the line banjo. And you've played some of those before, and mm -hmm. I have too, and we've had some in here. Uh, just a little bit more simple. If you notice on that resonator, it's uh, no uh, rings on the inlay. So, you know, a lot of people are used to mahogany banjos with the two rings in there. Uh, but they kind of made that a little more simple in order to bring the price down. This is a really kind of affordable American-made banjo with that Gibson-y sound, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of really cool. It has a Sullivan 20-hole vintage tone ring, uh, which me and you know uh, was the same tone ring that they uh, actually formulated for the Blackjack model, mm -hmm. which was, uh, you know, the J.D. Crow Blackjack model, and uh, you've played some of those, I'm sure. Yeah. And yeah. really cool sounding uh, uh, banjo. Uh, so in your opinion, uh, very kind of, I know in my, what I kind of thought of it is very vintage kind of sounding very, banjo. Very, very, it sounds very deep, and it's it's not deep at all. Uh <laughs> Literally not deep at all, but it sounds very huge. I, I don't know really how to describe the tone other than it's just right. And this banjo really hasn't had a whole lot of setup, but it just seems to have a lot of that tightness to the notes, but still have that big bottom end. Yeah, huge bottom, and but still crisp. Uh, it's hard to get that in a banjo, and this has got that very much. So another uh, really cool feature that this banjo has is their timeless timber bridges. Um, Sullivan's been doing this, and I know a lot of companies are doing uh, thermocured or uh, torrified woods. And this is a, a maple bridge, just like uh, normal, but they kind of bake it uh, in order to kind of age it, what they're actually doing is baking it at extreme temperatures and it kind of gives that toasted look, but what they're doing is kind of baking out all those sugars and leftover remnants that are kind of inside the wood fibers and it kind of crystallizes those and they kind of break down and leave those more open pores, which is what aged wood is actually doing. It's going to continue to, you know, dry out and get get a little bit more open and, and natural. And they're kind of doing that with those bridges. So that's kind of a cool little extra mm -hmm. feature. Yeah. Um, overall, just a really cool USA built. These are built in Louisville, Kentucky. You've been over there and, yeah. and talked to those fellas. Yeah, I did. Uh, he's a great guy. Um, he passed away... How many years ago? Oh, it's, it's got to been, been a while ten, back. Or, 10 or 15 years. He's a super almost. great guy, extremely knowledgeable. He's uh, very much an innovator in bluegrass banjos. And it was good to have him formulating banjos and formulating parts. Like I said, we were talking about that 20 hole tone ring that they did. This is one of Bill's formulations before he passed. And uh, it was. It's a well done overall banjo. We're really, really impressed with the parts on this banjo and mm -hmm. uh, glad to have it in here. I think it's one of the coolest vintage sounding banjos that we've yeah, had in a while. Sounds so. great. Does It's got everything you want. I'm, I'm not even sure. Yeah, you can't overpower it. I mean, it's it's got the power. It's got the tone. That's good. Sounds great. Well, cool. For, well, for a banjo, this thing sounds wonderful. It gets my approval, and it seems to get just gets my approval. <laughs> <laughs> so come check it out. Uh, if you haven't uh, been been to our website, theacousticshop.com, you can see this banjo and a whole bunch of others. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, where you can find this review, uh, all kinds of other instruments and things as we uh, continue to grow theacousticshop.com. So uh, join us and we'll see you next time. <laughs>